name. Fine. So, hello. Good morning in Amsterdam. Um, thanks for joining my session. Um, it's about using Drupal as a content hub and uh, making a uh, decoupled web application out of it. Um, my name is Jan. I'm managing partner at Trio Group. We're one of the biggest uh, B2B agencies in Germany. Um, when I'm not here talking about Drupal, uh, you can find me riding my bike in Italy and drinking the best coffee in the world for just one euro. Um, so, yeah, maybe you want to join me. First of all, I want to share a very successful uh, slide um, we used uh, in, yeah, in nearly all of our Drupal pitches. So um, that's yeah, Drupal, Pac-Man is eating, Sidecar and Typo 3. So this is what we build out of build with data. Um, so we just were creative interpreting those uh, statistics there. And yeah, obviously this chart was successful, so we won the client, otherwise we wouldn't talk about this case study I will show you right now. Um, so what we will hear in the next couple of minutes is um, a story about uh, a project we, we developed for our client. Um, where we had a successfully coupled project, successful from the perspective of the client, not successful from the perspective of the developer. That's important, different. Um, so, and at the end, yeah, we had a, a happy client. That is most important for me, especially. Um, what are our client's challenges? Um, our client is uh, Harting Technology Group. Uh, they are the world market leader for uh, industrial connectors. So their problem is that their products can't be seen. Uh, they are built in, in big machines or in small machines, so they are always hidden, and that's a challenge for their marketing. Um, otherwise, you, you just cannot understand where those products can be applied. Um, they have data in different sources. Um, the two most important is uh, Drupal for all the marketing contents and uh, the SAP Hybris Commerce System um, and the, the product information management tool in the back um, where all the, the product data is stored. And of course they have multiple marketing channel, channel, channels uh, like of course the web, um, trade fairs as well, um, other events, and uh, they have a huge sales representatives team. So our mission was to create a world out of class where we can see all the products that are usually hidden. Um, we wanted to make it available everywhere on any device uh, at any place and uh, at the same time it should be uh, easy to maintain and, and we wanted to have very quick updates to the contents and we wanted to have new um, interactive market graphics. This is the solution we built for the client um, so in the background you see such a market graphic, it shows uh, where the products can be used. In this case it's a German ICE train, um, so other use cases are wind energy generators, uh, factories or uh, yeah, cities. In this case you can find Harting, uh, yeah, it's the cable, the charging cable for the electric cars. This is where hotting happens here. So, and this was the challenge from the marketing perspective, showing this uh, to the clients. And what you see here is the market traffic. It's integrated into the website. What you see is in real-time footage, so there's no, there was no uh, cutting of the video. It's just a, a record of just a bit of uh, clicking and browsing. And you see, you can dive into this train and explore um, where all the hunting products um, can be applied. You see it's only small pieces of contents and later uh, you can see that there um, are also products, you see it now below, products from the SAP system or links to the Drupal system. So let's dive deeper. Um, what do we have? We have links to Drupal nodes uh, that are already present. We have products from SAP that are just linked here. Um, we have original content where that was created especially for those market graphics. Um, those panels below, those this menu is just paragraphs. We're using paragraphs in the backend. 
the Drupal backend to control those uh, sections of those market graphics, those images or just images that are uploaded to Drupal, and also those interactive hotspots are managed within Drupal. So everything in one place, that was our approach uh, to make a really convenient and, and, and easy to use uh, backend for the client. So when we look at the system architecture on a very high level, we have our corporate website uh, using Drupal, of course, uh, which is at the same time the content hub. Um, this system is connected to um, a uh, translation management tool, so they can they have about 25 different languages in their uh, Drupal system, uh, and all of them can be translated over this uh, uh, connection to ACROSS. They use ACROSS as a translation tool. Um, we have a connection to SAP Hypers, where all those 20,000 uh, articles come from, um, including all the images and so on. So we store uh, native uh, content in, in Drupal. Every product from SAP is native content in Drupal. So, and this allows us that we have only have one connection to the uh, market graphics, where we can use all the stuff behind uh, Drupal and and uh, yeah, and the content up. Market graphics are integrated into the website, and the website, of course, is um, and market graphics is backlinking to the website as well as driving traffic to uh, the products where uh, yeah the sales happens. And one important thing that led us to uh, decide for a decoupled architecture was that they want to use uh, the tool in different uh, use cases. For example, um, trade fairs. Um, and the devices like laptops and tablets of the sales representatives. So basically the technology behind it is quite simple. We have uh, Drupal um, as the corporate website and the, the market graphics app is just a Vue.js application. Um, there's no uh, separated backend, we only have Drupal as backend and we're just getting all the data from, from the API. And yeah, at the end, we're just serving one thing, the file from a static asset server um, to provide this application, which I think could easily be done by, by a floppy disk, I think. And offline usage was one use case. Since we are in Germany, we do not have the best mobile connection. We always have offline issues. Um, so yeah. What happened? We just used Electron to make a desktop application out of this Vue.js application, um, which is installed on the sales representative devices. And um, there is a Node.js crawler in the back which collects the data from the APIs and just uh, stores them in the local storage for, yeah, first purpose is for caching, second purpose is for the offline usage. So once you updated the app, uh, you can go offline and use it on. You see this picture, this is from uh, the HMI trade fair in Hannover last year, where Harting took our application and put it on those yeah, giant 12-inch touch screens there. You see this little pixel, single pixel there. This is the market graphics app. Um, the back end, we only have one content type and one market graphics, so this, this ICE train with uh, we saw in the video uh, it's just one single node, and this node is just collecting, aggregating all the content that is already present in the system. Um, yeah, as I said, we have the connection to the cross server for the translation management. The page is quite long, um, it goes ages below, but it's very simple and it's only one place where the editor has to go. Um, so first of all, we have the different sections, which are paragraphs. They can also be nested, so we can have we can have hotspots in hotspots. Um, yeah, and we only have uh, simple plain text for those small pieces of content. More interesting is the other part, the touchpoint management. So first of all, they need to upload an image, um, and then we decided to use um, a separate window. We we created an overlay. Otherwise, usability would be just terrible. And this is what you see in the big picture. Um, there, the hotspots are created and just moved with the mouse uh, and positioned at 
on the image where they should be located. And we decided also to store them um, in, in with relative positions to be able to make this uh, whole application responsive on all devices. And this is where SAP products come from. So as I said earlier, uh, they are native content in Drupal. So we are mirroring them uh, in Drupal, um, which allows us to just use this simple autocomplete field of Drupal. They just need their product number, type it in, and then that's it. They don't need to worry about translation, about the right image, about product updates, or even products that are removed from the product catalog. That's happening all automatically because of uh, yeah this connection to SAP. So that's it, and it's really convenient for them. Uh, total difference to the situation before Tuple. They used Typo three before, and yeah, they they were really happy with that with that. And then we have this SAP product on our website. And outcome for our client. Um, Three important things. Speed, they can easily update the thing. They are fast to the market. They can quickly roll out the new version of their market app. Convenience and usability, of course. Um, for me, the most important thing is um, autonomy. They can do it without us. If they have a new industry sector they, the, where they want to have a market graphics for, if they have a new product in the ICE train, they can just add it, uh, add and remove contents, they don't need us. So we have free, uh, and the client is also free to uh, develop more and creative ideas instead of doing the same stuff over and over again. Um, decoupled without pain, yeah, why, why did I say that? Um, often we developers do decoupled projects because Vue is a nice technology or uh, decoupled architecture is uh, nice and, and, and we always want to do such projects but we forget the clients and clients often feel that we are experimenting with them and that makes them unhappy and at the same time decoupled projects make pro projects often more expensive than they need to be. So my advice to you is think of is this the right use case uh, for a decoupled project um, if it's just a small and simple website presenting some marketing content don't make it a couple of websites out of it it's just expensive nothing more thank you for contributing don't forget to join those workshops and if you want to please take the survey give the DrupalCon team and also me uh, some feedback if you want thanks for joining and have a nice DrupalCon Questions? I got that one. Can I ask you another one? Yeah, how, do, how did you make the elect electron uh, desktop app on the Vue.js? Did you use some kind of converter or how did you do it and to be how long did it took and does it actually work? Um, to be honest, I can't tell you. I wasn't a developer, but I can connect you with our developers. Um, about the speed, I can tell you it was quick. So it, it took only one day before, until we had the first version of it. So it was quite easy. That, that was the easy part of the story. Yeah, Yeah. Was there a module for the touch point? Like a buttering? The question is if there was a module for the touch points. So uh, no, this is a custom implementation. There was no system module, and no, unfortunately, we did not contribute it. Um, probably yes. We we have uh, another use case where we will have this uh, touch point management. Um, so this is maybe the situation where we can uh, contribute. Yes, I ask you to contribute. We should. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, no questions. Thank you. So I, I, oh. How did you um, implement the translation? It was not inside Drupal, it came from outside the translation? Exactly, yeah. So uh, we used TMGMT uh, as a Drupal module, 
uh, then we implemented the the API uh, of uh, the across language server mm -hmm. and so the editor just says I want a new translation for this page in language English for example um, then this is automatically transferred to the across software and then humans translate this is still done by humans um, and once they are done uh, it's getting back the way to Drupal and the editors just need to approve the content. So there's no copy and paste, no uh, no uh, email attachments and so on. So the, 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 the way from the online editor to the translator and the way back is this is fully automated. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thanks, have a nice day.